first and most important issue is visualization of the synchrony. You have to be able to detect the synchrony. Here is an example again of a classic form of the synchrony, which is not so difficult to really see. You see that there is a rocking motion of the apex. You see that there is a hula hoop motion. If you compare the lateral wall with the septal wall, I'm sure most of you will appreciate that the synchrony is present. What about this example here? I'll give you some time to take a look. I think definitely this ventricle looks different than the one before. But if you look at this level here, you will note that the septum and the lateral wall contract at the same time. So this is not a dyssynchronous ventricle. Another example. Again, take a look at the septum. Just focus on this biphasic motion here. I mean, of course, the giveaway would be the ECG, but don't mind the ECG at this point, but really look at the septum. And of course, compare it with a lateral wall. Yes, this is the synchrony as well. And I believe that your potential to really visualize the synchrony will be of such aid to these patients because you are probably the one who will filter out these patients and then refer them maybe further either to a cardiologist or to a department where CRT can be implanted.